Hello everyone and welcome! It's Marika from Me and Mini Me Crafting. Today I'm participating in a very fun block hop between Altenew and Wow Embossing Powders. Be sure to check out what my wonderful teammates and designers from Wow team have come up with. I'm sure there's a lot of eye candy for you to see. You can start at Altenew block and hop along all the way to the Wow block. Make sure to have fun along the way and leave some comments and have a chance to win prizes. In this tutorial I will be making this card here and I will share some tips and tricks along the way. I start by die cutting the background with dodec cover die from Altenew. Next I'm going to be heat embossing the whole die cut with rainbow black glitter powder from WOW to get a really shiny background. I think this powder works very well on a large area like this, since it has so many different colors of glitter in it so it looks really cool when the light hits it. Next I will make my front panel and I will use parcel die cutting technique. First I draw a pencil line where I want my giraffes to stand and then I die cut my first giraffe. I place my clear plate, what is seen under my piece of cardstock in a way that the edge of the plate is lined up with my pencil line. This is because I want my giraffes to be still adhered on its legs to my cardstock. Now that I have the lower plate lined up with my cardstock, I can just put the upper plate wherever and when I run this through my die cutting machine, it will only cut the part that has two plates sandwiched on top of each other. And now I will do the same thing again. I flip the cardstock over and I mark with a pencil a line where I want the die cut to cut when I run it through my die cutting machine. I use low tack tape to keep the die in place and then I line my pencil line with the edge of my clear plate that is under my cardstock. I have found the easiest way is to tape the cardstock to the plate to keep it in place. And now I have two die cut giraffes that are still adhered on the bottom of my cardstock. I'll use my paper trimmer and craft knife to cut out the extra pieces in the middle. Next I will heat in bars my sentiment. This is what I do when I heat embossed to a black cardstock. I really love VersaFine Onyx black ink for heat embossing since it gives a really crisp image and it stays wet long enough to give me time to pour embossing powder onto it. Since I'm heat embossing onto a black cardstock, it is okay to use black ink under a white powder. I use opaque vanilla white powder from WOW. Now I will create my background that will be behind my die cut panel. I started by masking off the sun just with a piece of post-it note. I used Altenew Crisp inks to create my background. I used two yellow inks, cream near the sun and warm sunshine further away from the sun. To create the orange color in the middle, I blended the ruby red ink with warm sunshine ink and the result is this beautiful orange. I just kept twitching from red to yellow as long as I was satisfied with the result. To create the ground, I used grape wine ink from Altenew. I glued the die cut heat embossed panel with liquid glue to my inked background and I tried to position the die cut panel in a way that the sun would be in the center of one of those circle shapes. I really don't know why, it just felt for the right thing to do I guess. Then I adhered my parsley die cut panel with foam tape and liquid glue and I finished up my card with a little heart in the middle of giraffes. Glossy accent is always a perfect finishing touch. Hopefully you enjoyed and found this helpful. Please hop along with the hop and leave some love for my teammates and have a chance to win prizes. Thank you very much for your time. See you soon. Bye!